Sister Wives Show Seek Care. Christine Brown Files Lawsuit Against Cody. Hello viewers, welcome to the Sister Wives News Update. I hope you are well by God's grace. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Sister Wives star Christine Brown has decided to play hardball with her Cody Brown. It has been revealed that Christine is taking him to court. She has reportedly filed a lawsuit against Cody. Christine is seeking to get retroactive child support and full custody of their 14-year-old daughter Truly. Keep reading to get all the known details. Sister Wives Christine Brown filing lawsuit against Cody. In touch was able to obtain legal documents that reveal the shocking news that Sister Wives star Christine Brown is taking Cody to court. The documents revealed that Christine filed the lawsuit against Cody on Monday, September 16. The first thing she wants is for the courts to add Cody's name to Truly's birth certificate. There are other things that Christine wants to establish legally as well. The documents reveal Christine, who is the mom of six, requested a domestic relations injunction that stops both parties from harassment, domestic violence, canceling or modifying services, taking the children for non-routine travel without court orders or permission and demeaning or disparaging the other party. Overall, Christine is seeking custody of Truly as well as retroactive child support. When she decided to leave Cody and move back to Utah, it put a strain on Truly's relationship with her dad. He wouldn't make the trip to see her and Christine didn't take her back to Flagstaff. Christine believed that since Truly and Cody were in a somewhat stable relationship that moving wouldn't hurt anything. Cody disagreed. At the time he said, for Christine to think that she's saving my relationship with Truly by taking her away from me and just preserving it. That's such BS rationalization. He actually thought the whole situation was ridiculous. It is yet to be seen what will come from this. Christine nor Cody has commented publicly on the pending lawsuit. Sister Wives Season 19 Fans are happy to see that Sister Wives is back with Season 19. The show will dive deeper into all the women leaving Cody Brown except for Robin. Christine Brown really moved on after Cody. She married David Woolley and found happiness. The two tied the knot in 2023. In the premiere, the show honored Garrison Brown who passed away earlier this year. He died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was the son of Janelle and Cody Brown. Have you been watching the new season? What do you think about Christine taking Cody to court? Sister Wives Court Battle Christine Brown files paternity lawsuit against Cody demands custody and child support of daughter Truly. Christine Brown has lawyered up and is taking her ex Cody Brown to court. News broke on Thursday that the Sister Wives star has filed a paternity suit in a Utah court against Cody in regard to Truly, the 14-year-old daughter they share. Christine, who left Cody in 2021 and moved to Utah with Truly, is demanding Cody take a paternity test to show that Truly is his biological daughter. As Sister Wives fans will remember, Christine was Cody's third wife. Since their marriage wasn't legal and they weren't open about being polygamists, Cody's name didn't appear on any of the birth certificates for his and Christine's six kids. Christine has also filed for child support and custody, but first needs to prove that Cody is indeed Truly's father before she could get those things. On September 16, Christine, using her married name Christine Woolley, filed a petition for declaration of paternity child custody, parent time, and support. Although the actual petition has been sealed and can't be viewed publicly, the Ashley can confirm that a domestic relations injunction was also filed alongside Christine's paternity suit. This injunction states that neither party can harass, intimidate, or disturb the peace of the other party by any means, including electronically. It also forbids both parties from committing domestic violence or abuse against the other party or a child. The injunction also sets rules for both parties when it comes to dealing with Truly while the court case is active. Neither parent can take Truly on a trip unless the other party consents and has the travel details and a way of contacting Truly. They are also forbidden from saying anything to demean or disparage, talk badly about, about the other party in front of or within earshot of Truly, nor can they attempt to influence the children's preference regarding custody or parent time. The injunction forbids Cody and Christine from saying or doing anything that would negatively affect the love and affection of the children for the other party or involve the children in the issues of the petition. Both have to ensure that no one else who is around truly can do anything that breaks these rules. That's not all. 
Christine's filing means that her poodle permed ex will be required to attend both mandatory parenting courses and divorce orientation classes. Christine is also required to take the courses. The classes are available online, which will allow Cody, who still lives in Arizona, to complete them within the required 30-day time frame. It does not appear that Cody has filed any type of response in the three days since Christine opened the case. Truly is one of Cody's three minor children. The other two are Solomon and Ariella, who live with Cody and his only wife, Robin. The father of 18 is estranged from many of his adult children, and it's unknown how his current relationship with Truly is. Last October, Christine explained during an episode of Sister Wives that she felt that moving Truly to Utah with her helped preserve the good relationship that existed at the time between Cody and Truly. I knew that I was taking Truly away from her dad. I felt like the best way to preserve Truly's relationship with Cody was to move her away from him. I know it sounds bizarre. It was almost like I froze their relationship in time, Christine said. I took their relationship while it was still good and I picked it up and I moved it. And then whenever we come back into town, I just pick it up again and I move it back. And it's preserved. During the same episode, Cody gave his thoughts on Christine's claim that moving helped to keep Cody's relationship with Truly in a good place. For Christine to say that she's saving her relationship with Truly by taking her away from me and just preserving it, that's such BS rationalization, Cody said. I'm laughing now because it's ridiculous. During a 2022 episode, which was filmed right after Christine told Cody that she was leaving him, Cody made it clear that he didn't feel that he and Christine needed to involve the government to figure out a custody agreement for Truly. Cody was even more adamant that if it came to a place where he and Christine needed to get a legal child custody agreement, he did not want it to be filed in Utah, as he feels that the state hates him. You have to have a child custody agreement in place, otherwise the state gets involved, he says, later telling his ex, we're not doing anything ever in Utah. Don't ever involve Utah. Even as she's living there, we get a child custody agreement here in Arizona. As the Ashley stated above, Christine went ahead and filed the paternity suit. Related story, Cody Brown refuses on season premiere of Sister Wives to discuss why daughter Maddie no longer speaks to him. I won't talk about her, 